hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer in adobe photoshop so before any further i do let's get started so go to your file select new then under here i'm going to select prints then and select a5 paper size come over here and change it to inches leave your resolution to 300 at 300 and click on create so over here is our working background now so what i will do i'm going to make a copy of this hence code ctrl plus c to copy you can right click and copy it then go to your solid color select it then ctrl plus v to paste all right so now what we are going to do now then we are going to import the church logo so you drag it up over here zoom it out then i'm going to rasterize it select your magic tool then click around here now delete to remove the background then ctrl plus d to deselect now reduce the size and position it over here okay so as you can see it's too small after we apply the zoom so we notice that it's too small so now i'm going to leave it like this then go to your test tool and over here make a copy of this ctrl plus c to copy and select your test tool before then i'm going to draw a line over here a line like this then apply a red color then now select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and I'm going to change the font then search for Roboto then make use of Roboto medium alright then reduce the font size it's okay then after this one now then we are going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you position it somewhere around here then select your test to ctrl plus a to alight it then go to your test document and make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to increase the character spacing like this then ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect so having done this one so our next then is the topic so we are going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then come over here and remove the character spacing by 0%. Now we are going to increase this one a little bit. Then close the character space. Minus 60 is okay. Alright. Then and I'm going to change the font here. to this font here 
So I'm going to leave the font in the description. All right, so now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then bring it over here, then select your test tool, highlight it, then make a copy of this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, change the color to red, then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then I will bring this one down below, oh, below. then hold your shift key while you drag it, select your test to highlight it, then make a copy of this one, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then go back to your font and over here, I'm going to increase the font to bold. So something like this. Now increase the size. Position is this way. Then on this one, increase the size a little and position it somewhere like this. Okay, so having done it this way, I think I'm going to reduce this one a little. All right. Then go back to your test document and uh, over here, I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. And on this one, I'm going to remove the character spacing by 0%. Then this letter, I'm going to change it to small cab. And the font, I'm going to change the font over here to align signature. Then increase the size. and position it over there something like this okay so this test now i'm going to apply vertical alignment to this one then also to this one i'm going to apply vertical alignment then control plus d to dig select then after that i'm going to Take this one to this position, then make it bold. Then now I'm going to apply a drop shadow. So on your drop shadow, make sure that your blending mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Then the angle is 90 distance i use in this tutorial then is the distance is eight and the side and the spread is seven and the size is eight then click ok to apply it so what i will do now then right click to copy the layer style then go to the remaining ones and paste it So having applied it now, so I'm going to hold my shift key, then you select these ones and group it. Now you can rename it as your topic. All right. So the next one we are going to do now, then we are going to import our images. So over here, I have the images. I'm going to use so then this is the image and I already I have arranged it in order so but to make you understand how I did this now so I'm going to bring this one then down to this position then I'll place this one here 
then go back and this one I will bring it then I will position it over here then shift this one then this one bring it at the middle then this one will be at the top of them then I will bring this one over here bring this one over here so then increase it so that you can see it very well right then after this one so the next one then go back again to this position and i will bring this one then position it over here increase the size like this and the last one increase the size like this so you can see how the arrangement is being made now we are done with this arrangement so what i will do next now then i'm going to select select it all then after selecting it all then and i'm going to convert it to smart objects as one now all right then apply your layer mask then select your blending tool and over here i'm going to blend it this way as you can see, I did not apply the blending tools here, but now, so this is the process. Having seen this one now, then we are done with the arrangement. So the next thing we are going to do now, then we are going to apply the guest artist. So it's here already, so and I'm going to drag it over here and position it over here. Now I will take it up. Then you drag it, then position it over there. All right, zoom in to see the outcome of it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to increase the size this way. And this one, then I will take it back to this position. Then it's okay like this. So, having done this one now, so the next one we are going to do then is to apply their names. Then come to your test document and make a copy for the names. Select your test tool and over here I'm going to paste it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then remove the character spacing by 0%. And reduce the font size then position it over here now copy this one ctrl plus C to copy then duplicate this one ctrl plus J and take it up here then select your test to highlight it then ctrl plus V to paste Then make a copy of this one, Ctrl plus J to copy. 
then bring this one down select your text tool highlight it and come over here to copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and position this one over here highlight it then make a copy of this one then ctrl plus v to paste then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one then you bring it over here now make a copy of this one select it then ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to bring this one down over here let them be equal okay so having done this now so the next thing now we are going to do we are going to select the names all together hold your shift key while you select it then group it and uh, you rename it then bring it down over here now this one hold your shift key while you select it and group it together then you can now rename these ones as the guest artist all right so having done this one now the next one then is the pastor so we are going to bring in the image of this pastor then go to your resource file then import the image then rasterize it then go to your quick selection tool and select subjects now select your layer mask to remove the background so this is how to remove background in photoshop so over here now i'm going to rasterize but before then before i do that so what i will do now then i'm going to select this layer mask then select my gradient tool then also i would like to take this image back to this position first then increase the size something like this it's okay then i will take the image back to this position so that the rest will be at the front of it okay then increase the side uh, i mean drag it up like this is okay increase it now select the layer mask select your gradient tool and blend it then you will have something like this okay now the topic we can increase it bring this one to this position all right so the next thing now then we are going to copy the name then first make a copy of this one then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste change the font to align signature reduce the size
copy this one Ctrl plus C to copy select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste and we are going to change the font back to Roboto then make it medium and drag it over here reduce the size then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate hold your shift key while you drag it down then ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size of this one then you will have something like this okay so having done this one then we are going to move forward now hold your shift key then select the name now reduce the size like this is okay okay then the next one we are going to grade the the team so copy this one ctrl plus c to copy now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus uh, ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it over here to make a duplicate now i will take it above here then zoom in and bring it down over here select it alight it then ctrl plus v to paste then come back to your test and uh, make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then over here, I'm going to change the font, and the font I'm going to use is this font here. Then go back to your to your fonts, and over here is the font. Then I'm going to break it like this and make use of center alignment then now position it over here ctrl plus a to select or apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then increase the font size like this okay then i will bring this one and position it over here then on this one now i'm going to apply a layer style then go to come over here select your blending option now make use of bevel and emboss then inner bevel chisel add and the depth is 115 the size is 4 so i'm using this setting here and the angle is 90 the altitude is 30 then leave the rest then come to your shadow and apply the same number okay then you click okay then the next one i'm going to grade a rent angle like this then change the color to white and i'm going to make a copy of this ctrl plus c to copy 
then select your test to control plus v to paste then go back to your font and change the font to roboto then change it from regular to bold then change the font color to black then position it over here reduce the font size then select your rent angle create a line here then change the color to red then i'm going to make a duplicate of this ctrl plus j then you bring it over here now make a copy of this then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then change it to left alignment now bring it over here increase the font size All right, so we are done with this one. So the next one, then we are going to copy the location. Control plus C to copy. And we are going to create another rent angle. Then select a rent angle. Then drag it. And over here, we are going to get a copy from this color. So, it's okay. I think I would like to make it darker. Okay, then I'll make use of this one. Then go to your resource file and import the location icon. Reduce the size. Then Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Then change the color to white. Select your test tool. now ctrl plus v to paste change the font color to white then change it from bold to medium and reduce the font size then you will have something like this okay so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going back to my topic, the, the image I mean, I'm going to the image, okay, guest artist, then use your arrow key then to bring it down this way, like this, then and your topic then increase the size like this okay so having done this one now so the next thing we are going to do we are going back to our background okay then the first thing now is our color background then the next we are going to import the images we are going to use in this tutorial so the first images i'm going to use 
is this fire then how we position it at the position it finds itself then increase the size okay then after that then i'm going to change it to screen then it will give you this color then apply layer mask then i will select my brush and i will erase the line over here then something like this so having done this one then I'm going to change the color over here to black. Then make it bold. Bold. All right. Then now we are going back to our background. And the second one we are going to import is this. Then take it up over here. Then, and on this one, we are going to change it, the blending mode to soft light. Then apply your layer mask. And select your brush. Then I'm going to brush over here. something like this then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate it Control plus j to duplicate then you select it select it then right click and uh, flip it horizontal and i will drag this one over here like this okay then after this one now then the next one we are going to do then is to bring this texture over here this background then so the next thing we are going to do then apply your layer mask and on this one, then I'm going to select my gradient tool. Then you blend it over here. Something like this. Okay. So having done this one like this, so the next one, then we are going to bring this particle. Then increase the size bring it down like this then and uh, we are going to make use of multiply change the blending mode to multiply then apply your filter then go to blur gaussian blur and make use of 10 percent okay then select apply layer mask select your brush and over here we are going to brush it like this something like this all right so having done that one now so the next one is to import this worship image then you drag it up Reduce it this way. Okay. Then, reduce the opacity to 73%. And apply your layer mask. So, we are going to bring it down to our background. Then select your layer mask, then select your gradient tool, and you will blend it over here.
something like this. Okay. So having done this one, then I'm going to increase the size. This way is okay. Then, and the other one I'm going to import is this design element. Then I will drag it down to this position somewhere around here. Then okay. And I'm going to change the blending mode to soft lights. Something like this. Soft light is okay. Then Having done this one now, the next one we are going to do, then we are going to bring this light flare over here. Then reduce the size and I'm going to position it over here. Then change it to screen. Then this image, I'm going to convert it to smart object and increase the size. Then bring these lights over here. It's okay. And on that image, I'm going to image to apply adjustments to brighten the image somehow like this. Then also apply the constructs, then it's okay. Then the last one, I'm going to bring in this light glow. Then reduce it. Then position it over there. Then and I'm going to change the blending mode to color dodge. Increase the size. Position it over here. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity to 73%. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And now we drag this one over here. Then position it over here. So, as you can see, we have come to an end of this tutorial. So, thank you so much. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Then, the other things, don't forget to join the membership channel to, so that you will not miss any of the gifts I'm going to give to, out to my france over there and if you need any flyer please you can go to my fiverr account and make an order also if you want to register for fiverr account then you can also use the link below in the description to create your fiverr account so thank you so much for following i really appreciate you guys and also i'm using tubebody to optimize my youtube channel so you can also Go under the link there to create your own Tubode account. Thank you so much.